Next presentation will be of uh, Mr. Wang Su, A. All, and that will be the, the method of determining early warning water level for controlling regional urban land subsidence. Please, okay. you have the floor. Okay, okay, thank you. Uh, I'm Jie Xiu Wang from Tongji University, and uh, my topic is a method of determining early warning water level for uh, controlling regional uh, urban land subsidence. And uh, I have a long uh, slide, so I have to uh, quick and uh, to try to finish my presentation uh, in the limited time. And uh, I'm sorry. Uh, this is uh, uh, this is the content of my presentation. Uh, the first one I want to uh, introduce the back uh, the research background. Uh, you can see uh, these pictures is uh, very famous uh, pictures. Uh, this indicate the influence of land uh, subsidence to our life, uh, including the flood and the pollution, etc. However, uh, our measures to deal with the uh, land subsidence is after the land subsidence have occurred. Uh, so we think about a uh, problem is what, what can we do before the land su subsidence occur? Uh, so uh, the, the problem is uh, how to uh, turn from post prevention to into pre warning is also an uh, urgent uh, a new topic. So uh, we, we know that uh, for land subsidence, we have multi influencing factors, uh, including the natural evol evolution, uh, the traditional uh, uh, groundwater pumping, and the foundation paid dewatering, uh, groundwater em emergency uh, e exploration, and uh, uh, foundation paid excavation and uh, load. Uh, so we can divide the land subsidence into two class. One is concerned with the groundwater level. The other is not concerned with ground, groundwater level. So we can know that uh, when we pumping groundwater, uh, groundwater exploitation uh, will cause drawdown and, and, and the land subsidence. And when, when we uh, perform the excavation and we build, uh, build a building, we will have a load, the power, uh, the power pressure also will, will increase. So we think whether we can use groundwater level as an indicator for the land subsidence concern with the groundwater level. So we can, we can uh, uh, prevent the land subsidence because when the groundwater, uh, groundwater level is lowered and a uh, drawdown occurred, However, the land subsidence not uh, appear right now. So we have a, a long time. After a long time, uh, under the consult, consult, consultation, uh, the land, sub, land subsidence occurred. So we, we, we wanted to know if we, if we have observed uh, water level drawdown. And we, we know that the uh, groundwater level drawdown will cause a land subsidence cannot be uh, accepted. So we can take measures to increase the, or, or keep the groundwater level. Uh, so we want to uh, use the groundwater level as an indicator to, uh, to, pre, to warn the potential land subsidence. Uh, this is also a, a figure of Ningbo City. We can see that uh, in, in a period, the groundwater, groundwater level fluctuation concern with the land subsidence. If we know the uh, groundwater fluctuation will cause uh, unaccepted uh, land subsidence. We can uh, try to con control it. So, uh, so we, our study is uh, with New York City as a background. New York City is also uh, a large city uh, in the east of China, maybe uh, 200 kilometers to Shanghai. Uh, this, is the, this is its location. It, it also experienced a, a, a uh, a cause of land subsidence. Uh, in, in maybe in 1980s, someone said that if the land subsidence cannot be controlled, the new city will uh, will uh, uh, below the whole, whole elevation of the city will below the sea level. So have to control the ground, uh, the land subsidence. And re in recent years, the land subsidence have been have, have been controlled. However, we we will try to keep. Keep the, keep the elevation uh, in a, 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 a accepted safe, safe safe value. Uh, so so we wanted to, uh, we, we wanted to do is 
uh, is that we uh, prevent the land subsidence in university. Uh, this is also uh, our scientific uh, object, and we have a technical routine to control this. Uh, the next one is land subsidence data cleaning and mapping. Uh, we know that uh, in our uh, uh, observa observation network in, in Ningbo, uh, the INSA uh, data is used uh, is not used too much because uh, the precision of the uh, observation cannot satis satisfy its current uh, uh, requirement. Uh, however, in the monitoring network, the network of groundwater monitoring and land subsidence uh, uh, monitoring the monitoring point is different. We we, we did not uh, observe both uh, groundwater fluctuation and the land subsidence in one point. So we have to match land subsidence and drawdown at some sample point. The sample point is the uh, location of the observation well. So the next one is we 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 we, we uh, interpolation the data, try to match the land subsidence and uh, the groundwater level, and we have a flow, uh, uh, have a, a flow design, and we also use some soft software to draw the map. The next one is the evolution of groundwater and the land subsidence. The first one we uh, analyze, uh, analyzed, we, we, we analyzed the evolution law of land subsidence in, in space. So we have, have the uh, uh, land subsidence data, we, we draw the control, control map. Uh, we can see that uh, the control map, uh, map uh, in, indicate the evolution, evolution law of Ningbo city. We can see that in uh, 2000 and 2001, the land subsidence is different. And uh, the next year, in uh, 2002 and uh, 2003, is also different. In these two years, we can see that we have uh, three to, to five uh, land subsidence center. Uh, however, the value is also different. Then in uh, 2018 and 2019, we can see that the land subsidence is also different. In, 19, in 2018, the area of land subsidence is large. However, in, uh, in 2019, the area is decreased. However, the value is, is increased. So we also can see in 2020 and uh, 2021, the Evolution wall in uh, space is also different. The next one we uh, want to know in the matching point, the evolution of land subsidence with, with time. So we we also have the have the uh, monitoring data. The data the data is also interesting. You can see this. You can see this one. You can see this one. In in this one, we can see that uh, the first the first part of the curve is the stage before the groundwater pumping is controlled. We can see it, the groundwater level have a large fluctuation. Uh, after the water con uh, groundwater exploration is banded, uh, uh, the water is, uh, uh, is, uh, uh, cannot be explored anymore. We can see that the groundwater level becomes stable. So we, so we want to keep the stable and uh, uh, prevent the p potential drawdown may cause the land subsidence. Uh, this uh, this uh, also the curve. Uh, the first the first figure is the first uh, confined uh, uh, aquifer. The the second figure is the second uh, confined layer confined aquifer. We can see that the fluctuation of water is concerned with the, the groundwater pumping. However, in the third one, the third one is the uh, groundwater level of of, of shallow uh, aquifer. It means uh, this, this layer uh, cannot, uh, cannot uh, see the law because uh, it may be influenced by the excavation, pumping, and, uh, and loading, et cetera. And after this, we uh, draw the land subsidence and the groundwater drawdown in one figure. We can see that the uh, drawdown, the land subsidence is lag, is lag, lag behind the groundwater drawdown. So we, we also know that if we have observed the groundwater drawdown, if we control the groundwater level, then the land, sub, land subsidence may be controlled. And the, the next one, we also use the observation uh, data have a trend. 
the, the first one is the correlation of groundwater and land subsidence. Uh, then we use the multiple regress theory to establish the fluctuation, uh, the, the, the relation uh, equation between the groundwater level drawdown and the land subsidence. We use this method. And we also have lots of equations. The, the equations are also interesting because uh, some, some of these equations have was, have was a strong uh, correlation between the land subsidence and the groundwater level. And some is weak, and some is no, no relation. I think that this is also a method to uh, recognize the, uh, the mechanism of land subsidence. Uh, if, if, the, if the land subsidence is high or strong relation with the water level, I think uh, we can control the land subsidence by control the water level. However, if the, if, if the land subsidence have a weak correlation with the land subsidence, you have, try, have a lot of input to control groundwater level. However, you cannot control the land subsidence effectively because the, because the land subsidence may be uh, not, uh, not induced by the groundwater level. So we, we established the equation because our uh, mon monitoring data is not efficient. Some, some, some observation may be uh, uh, exceed uh, 12 years, maybe some uh, six years, maybe some uh, five years. So we, for different uh, uh, data, we have different uh, equations. This, this is for, for the uh, observations, uh, ob observation points with uh, six years, six years data. Uh, this is also the, the, the same one. This is the last less than six years. We have lots of uh, the equation. Uh, after this, after we establish uh, the, the uh, relationship between uh, the land subsidence and the groundwater drawdown, we try to uh, determine uh, warning uh, water level. This is the first one we have to define a uh, threshold that the land subsidence cannot be accepted. Uh, in Ningbo, in Ningbo uh, now the uh, uh, land subsidence prevention and control planning is uh, have, a, have a value is uh, 10 uh, millimeter per year. So we, we, we know that if we have a groundwater fluctuation, however, the, groundwater, the land subsidence did not, uh, do not exceed the 10 millimeter per year, it, it also accept, uh, accept, uh, accepted. So we use this as a threshold to determine the uh, pre warning uh, groundwater level. Uh, this, is, this one is uh, we use the, uh, the, 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 the equation with uh, 12, uh, 12 months, 12, 12 years data. Uh, we, we, uh, we can uh, determine the uh, pre warning, uh, pre, pre -warning ground water level. Uh, this is the calculation e equation. Uh, this, is the, is, this is the six the, the, the equation have six years data. We also can uh, predict every month uh, the water water level water level whether can be uh, accepted. If it cannot be accepted, it means that the water level caused the, the, the land subsidence caused by the water level fluctuation may be exceed the threshold of the land subsidence. This one is the other equations. And the, the sixth part is, is groundwater early warning method. Uh, this one is we have uh, a method to determine the uh, groundwater level warning. Uh, you can see in the, this one is uh, this one. This, this one is the, the fluctuation trend of the groundwater level uh, evolution. And the top of the and the top of the, the blue one is the envelope of the uh, fluctuation of groundwater value fluctuation. So the lower, the lower uh, envelope. And the red one, the, the top of the red one is the uh, groundwater level corresponding to the threshold of land subsidence. That is uh, 10 millimeter per year. So, so we have, so we have the two, uh, the two warning uh, uh, value. Uh, the first one is the lower envelope of the groundwater fluctuation. Uh, the, the, the second one is the uh, groundwater level 
corresponding to the uh, land, subsidence, land subsidence threshold. And the blue, uh, the yellow one is, is the groundwater level reached uh, 50 percent, 50 percent of the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the red one. So we have three, uh, so we have, have, have three uh, pre warning that is blue, yellow, and red. And, and for the uh, for uh, for all the maybe 58 uh, pumping wells, we also all have the the three uh, values, and also we we fo we uh, focus on the three values. We have measures. The measures is different. For example, uh, for the uh, urban constru construction and uh, development, if we have blue warning, and we can we have measures. For example, to investigation. Uh, for example, to not notif not notification. And for for the yellow one, for the yellow one, we will use some technical uh, measures to control the groundwater uh, pumping, to control the foundation paid dewatering, to control the uh, uh, artificial uh, works. And the, uh, the red one, uh, for the for the red one, we can uh, change change the uh, urban planning and to try to uh, uh, try to control the dense of the buildings. Uh, so we have the three uh, today's warning uh, method. Uh, the, the, finish, the last one is the conclusion, is that we try to establish the, this uh, early warning method is to, uh, our purpose is to try to make some sense for the uh, groundwater of, of the way. Because a lot of time we observe the fluctuation of groundwater level fluctuation, we, we tell, tell, tell others that way, there are a large drawdown. Uh, this has a, a groundwater rising. We don't know what we can do. But uh, but if we have the, this uh, definition, we can have we can uh, use use this uh, one uh, groundwater level to con to pre pre warning the land subsidence and control the land subsidence. Uh, that's all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, please, questions? <laughs> yeah. Thank you for your nice presentation. I, I, I didn't follow which is the relation of the physical parameters that determine uh, the correlation or the correlation between uh, uh, groundwater withdrawal and the formation. It is a variation on granulome in, in, in grain size distribution, or what is the, the physical parameter that determines this correlation? Uh, because because we have also uh, performed lots of uh, physical uh, model tests and uh, field observation and uh, to some uh, numer numerical simulation, we know the mechanism. However, however in, in, in the laboratory and the in field, it's quite different. Uh, because uh, uh, maybe maybe in, in one point uh, have a lot of uh, influence factors. Uh, for example, maybe there is loading and there is e e excavation and there is the foundation pit dewatering and there is a subway and lots of inf lots of f factors will influence the land subsidence. However, in our uh, our work is uh, try to recognize the whether there is a relation between them. What what is the quantitative uh, quantitative re re relation. Uh, however, the the whether it caused by uh, what what is the con contribution of a single factors? I think it's our first uh, first work. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Uh, thank thank you for your presentation. And I have a, a question uh, that uh, uh, your research tried to do the uh, rewarding of the uh, subsidence based on the monitoring uh, yeah. water drawdown. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, based on uh, which uh, condition you can uh, distribute your uh, monitoring well, because uh, uh, less subsidence may occur on a large scale for a, a whole study area, but the raw water monitoring well just a point by point. Mm -hmm. So, we should know which location may have the subsidence first. We we can put that. Uh, monitoring well, but uh, based on what condition you can uh, uh, distribute them to monitor subsidence? Uh, 
Okay, and I think. One, uh, sorry, and one more question. Uh, uh, the second question is: uh, Do you have any assumption for the creaking and tabulation? Uh, you mentioned in your uh, presentation. Yes. Okay. 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 I, I think uh, your uh, two questions is uh, is all very good questions because the the first one we have a definition. Uh, the, the, the definition means that the pump our pump wheel must be arranged in a right right position. Uh, this means that its work is monitoring the water level of a region, not a, not a point. So someone will ask ask uh, if we have a we have uh, have a uh, have a foundation pit near near nearby it, and if we have a, 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 a excavation, whether you can monitor the influence of this engineer, I think it's different. Uh, our uh, our uh, our uh, mon mon monitoring wheel is is uh, arranged to monitoring the water level of a region, not a point. Uh, so I so I so I think uh, the arrange the ar arrangement of the pump wheel is. Uh, in two ways. One is we have a previous, we have a monitoring, monitoring system uh, have, uh, established before. And now we, have, now we are arranging a new network. So when we arrange a new, 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 new uh, network, we have to consider both the geologic, geology conditions and the, the work, uh, the human works. So I think, I think uh, our... Around uh, off, please. Okay, 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 thank you. Thank you very much. Ah, thank you.